I'm shooting some macro photography here. So I have the Canon 6D Mark II set up with a 50 millimeter lens. This is not a macro lens. So to make it into one, I have this 10X macro lens filter attached to the end of the lens. You can pick these up really cheap and easily turn any lens you own into a macro lens. My goal with this photo shoot is to capture that moment in time when the wind blows across the dandelion, breaking it apart and the seeds go scattering across your lawn. So I'm using a couple of friction arm clamps connected to mini tripods to hold both the dandelion and this little cotter key that I'm using as tiny tweezers to hold one single dandelion seed that's going to be detached from the dandelion and floating away. These Ulanzi RGB lights are working really great for lighting the scene because I can quickly switch between different colors and different lighting configurations. I'm going to be trying a bunch of different lighting setups to see what looks best. And that way I have a bunch of different variations of this to pick from. I shoot macro photos in RAW, that way when I'm bringing them into Lightroom, not only can I adjust the brightness and colors without degrading the photo, but also because Adobe recently added this new update to Lightroom called Denoise, and this only works with RAW photos. And when you turn on this Denoise setting, it's absolute magic. Here's before, and here's after. Absolutely insane. One other thing I'm noticing in this photo that I want to fix is the chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is like when light shines through a prism and it breaks up the light into the different colors. And under the right lighting conditions, you can end up with this in your photo if you really zoom in, which is what we're looking at right here with these bright red and blue lines. This is a really easy fix. Come down here to chromatic aberration, check the box and Lightroom will work its magic. Here's before. And here's after. The last thing I'm going to do to this photo is drop it into Photoshop and use Content Aware Fill to delete the clamp and the tweezers that are holding up this dandelion seed. And here is the final result. If you're new here, make sure to check out my channel. If you want to see some more of my macro photography, click on this video over here and I'll see you in the next one.